So our research revolves around uh, plant development, plant growth and development. We are mainly using uh, model organisms like Arabidopsis. Studying the genes of this seedling allows one to understand the evolution of plants which have a morphology that adapts to their environment. For instance, to stand up for themselves in hostile conditions such as bad weather. One of the applications of this fundamental research currently carried out at the University of Luzon is to improve crops by making plants hardier. We will have challenges because of climate change, soil use, etc. that will force us to develop crops that are better adapted to changing environmental conditions. And our research, even if it's very fundamental research, in the long run I think can contribute to the development of better adapted crops. As part of this European research, which contributes to the training of PhD students, Christian Hartke's team analyzes the mechanics of a specific gene. So in the Bravissimo project, we investigated a gene that we had originally isolated through the natural variation approach. It's a gene called Bravis radix. This gene has an impact on the size of the root and of the total adult root system. And we try then to understand how these genes are working by a combination of experiments, but also of computational simulations. Yeah, I think for us to be implicated in European network gave us a lot of visibility. You get into a network of people, many that you actually didn't know that well before. You start to realize uh, how the work that others do can uh, overlap with your and how you can benefit from each other's expertise. Uh, we gained access to certain techniques uh, in, in other labs that are not uh, accessible to us on place, using a lot of infrastructure that is so big, so expensive, that not every place can have it. I chose to become a scientist because I like that it's a combination of challenges that are both intellectual but also manual. It's a constant challenge. I think you have to be very creative in designing experiments that give you the right conclusions. Mm -hmm.